Okay. Oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> First name's Miko. Um, I'm a chiropractor assistant. I also have a second job too. Yeah, what um, do you do with that? Um, I work at a front desk at a resort. Gotcha. Um, but what, where I'm from, California. Um, can't say where, but exactly. <laughs> about and she's trying to respect her doc, but we want to show you the difference between the Thera method and upper cervical. Um, well, I'm here because what's the number one symptom? Like this is the interesting one for them. The visual vertigo. I mean, the ringing in the ears, you know, is a hella annoying, and so is um, the dizziness and unbalance us a little bit. The visual vertigo it looks like things are kind of like moving a little bit still she got a second job at this resort for why uh so that i can pay for treatment <laughs> and she gets free treatment from her doctor yeah that that's how serious it is i was laying in bed um i was having a tantrum i was having a bad day and my dumbass decided to hit my head against the wall and then literally 10 seconds later i got tinnitus and then I just started noticing after a month, I'm starting to feel like I'm on a, like a boat. Um, and then I start getting visual vertigo and it's all because of that instance. So I, it's crazy, honestly. I had no idea that, that that could happen. She's had ear infections when she was a baby. She had, she was a colicky baby. And so uh, we, I told her, I think this goes way back. So uh, nausea all the time? Uh, yeah. Drunk person gait, I love that. What is that, Dr you walk like you're drunk? I feel drunk. I, I try not to walk like I'm drunk, but I feel exactly. drunk. <laughs> now, she spent a lot of money on medical quacks. You know, you guys are out there. I went to a neurotologist. She happens to be like the top neurotologist in Newport. I paid $2,000 for that. No, $2,100. You have endolymphatic high drops. I'm like, what is that? She's like, oh, it just means you're unbalanced. And I'm like, okay, but <laughs> what's the cause of it? All of a sudden, want to give me anxiety, depression pills and diuretics, I'm like, no, this is not the answer. There's no way. So I was like, deuces. Um, you know what? I went on Facebook groups and I talked to like probably 40, 50 people that had similar symptoms to me. So that went from like Lyme disease groups to vestibular migraines to vestibular neuritis groups. And there was just a, a few people that mentioned upper cervical. I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> at this point, I'm like at my wit's end. Like I might as well try it because I, I can't deal with this anymore. So the chart looks like it's like moving. It's like like I'm almost like a dreamlike wave. It's doing this. Okay. It's very subtle. Okay, we can see our right occipital tilt here. The head's tilt to the right and 15 degree scoliosis. Here we have seven degree lumbar curve and constipation. Here is a pretty significant neck reversal at C3, really easy to see. And last one, sway back and constipation. I, I definitely got a deep sleep and I haven't had a deep sleep in a long time. I'm usually able to sleep six to seven hours normally, but this just felt like I like fully got a full rest in my body. How so, many years of that difference, or months, or whatever? Oh, oh! Even before when it happened, when my injury happened in February, I still had sleeping issues. Exactly. Just light sleeping exactly. all the time. I was able to wake up easily by small little noises. This time it was like I felt like I didn't wake up at all. <laughs> You're like, this hotel bed is so comfortable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and I and I will also say, um, um, I well, yesterday I I did notice my vision. I think it got slightly better. I still not sure, but like I feel like it's gotten better. I don't know if I because of the deep sleep, um, it feels better. But that's so far how I feel. Gotcha. And so her uh, ringing the ear is still the same. Yeah. It's not fifty percent better. No. <laughs> she wants to really call me on this. So, yeah, she's a chiropractic assistant. She ain't kissing my ass. That's for sure. She's being hard on me. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, tell me how I'm different than your doctor. She says I'm more animated. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he has such a personality, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm like, wow, I feel like I'm watching a cartoon. <laughs> so she wants to know why I just see three all week, okay? And so I've said this in a lot of videos, but if you guys haven't heard me, um, the reason I do it is because this is the foundational adjustment for the curve of your neck. The curve is very important. Because the curve is long-term structure to a proper form of the neck that allows the atlas to work properly. If you just adjust the atlas, you will get representation of change. You will feel the things you want to feel. But if, unless you have a foundational structure, the atlas will go back out of alignment constantly. So the reason why people get so much better with a C3 adjustment is because it changes the overall structure, allowing the atlas to fall into the slot, I call it. Okay. Does that make sense? Makes sense. And so we want to do it. We want to be conservative the first week. If I go right in and start adjusting your atlas, 
I've had people where they go, do it, do it, do it, Dr. Thayer, and they have radical change, so big a change that they get scared of chiropractic, and I don't want to ever do that to you or anybody else again. Okay. Beautiful. How was that? See, I got a compliment her. She relaxes a lot more. Ooh. That was good. That was pretty good. Yeah. That was much easier than yesterday. Yeah. You notice that? Yeah. So this is the thing that happens. It builds. We build on your adjustment. So yesterday's adjustment got the bugs out, got the you know the the fear out, and yeah. the adjustment relaxed you, and then the sleep made you relax even more. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And when you ice, ice will help bring the inflammation down even more, which will even be better adjustments. That's why ice is so important. We want to keep our hips square, we want to keep our feet straight. Those kind of things are important because I want a foundational adjustment to your neck, meaning I want to feel what's going on. When you twist and turn, it changes the dynamics up here too. Okay. Good. Come toward me, please. Come toward, no, no, come more. There we go, girl. There we go, good. Oh. That was that, Nico! That was a shit! That was a shit! <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Are you gonna bleep that out? <laughs> no. She is having trouble learning what I'm what I want to teach her because it's all about just in her brain. She thinks she has to look a certain way. And I've even shown her on the video about how she looks. And I think she looks great and she thinks she looks bad. So this image problem, guys, is a big issue of why people have pain. And so um um what's going through your mind about you do you think you're gonna be able to do it? That's what I'm kinda of curious about. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm going to follow what you're saying. I Good. just, I don't like it. <laughs> Good. Yeah, that's fine. Fair enough. I just want to know, I'm just, again, we're just going through the whole process with everybody on camera just to kind of let everybody know how this process goes and how uh, it's not easy, guys. Yeah. Okay. And so anything else you want to add? Uh, sleeping no. like sleeping like a log, right? Sleeping great. Yeah. Had some pain in the morning when she woke up. Uh, definitely her problem right now is when she studies on the computer, uh, writing and uh, laptops or seems to be her big deal. We're going to take some pictures of that show. Uh, show her and figure out what she's doing wrong. But those are the big things I'm seeing right now. And then this, this issue about posture. And she had this big thing about talking about how she sees little old ladies and little old men, like, you know, this kind of thing she doesn't want to do. Even though she doesn't look like that and she's not even close to that, she thinks she's, she thinks she's doing it. Okay, good. Ah, uh, shit hurts. Do you have pain up into your head, down your arms, just where I'm pushing? No, it's just my shoulders. Gotcha. Scale of one to 10, how bad is it? Like a nine. Nine, good. So breathe in your nose, out your mouth. Good. Let you go this way. Body here. Good. Oh, what the hell was <laughs> that? Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> that felt different. <laughs> it felt different, right? Yeah, that felt different than the C3 adjustment. Whoa. Yeah. So people, <laughs> people think that chiropractic can't be specific, but that's a completely different adjustment, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Completely different. Did you guys hear that? Oh my <laughs> god. I felt like crack. Yeah, oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, she's a little tight, a little apprehensive on this side this time. Good. Let me have this whole head. Bring it towards me. Bring it towards me. Now let it drop forward a little bit. Oh. Good. Nice. So we're going to work on her neck a little more, guys, and uh, SCM work here. And this is going to indirectly affect her atlas, and it's going to be painful. Ah! Yep. Breathe, breathe, in the nose, out the mouth. And all I'm doing is pushing the belly of the SCM. And why does this work so much? Because, it, again, it influences the atlas. And so when this is really tight and spasm like this, it'll torque the atlas. Breathe, two more breaths. One more. Good, good. One more side. Yeah. So our last patient, his neck's even worse than this. Makes you feel better. Andy was way worse than you. Let go. One more. Good. So right here. I was able to sleep better um, one day. The other day I couldn't. It was at home, right? It was at home. When I came back, I, it was, it, I think I reverted to some of old habits, so yeah. that didn't really help me. And he kind of made me recognize that. Um, my vision has gone a little bit better, but still feel a little, um, still feel a little uneasy. I don't feel fully balanced yet. 
and I think that's just with healing and time. Um, I am getting anxious, I think, because a week has kind of almost passed, and I just want to get better now. <laughs> but like we, everybody else, like, like everybody, everybody else. else, I think just the fact that maybe I've just been holding in, um, just how stressful this could be, and just feeling like the last ten months I've been kind of just like trying to ignore all the issues. So now that we're finally like fully addressing all of it, it's making me like anxious and like, am I really gonna get better? So I think just this very insightful, very insightful. Yeah. I like that. So yeah, so I think just this week I've just been kind of feeling like, I don't know, like almost to a point where I feel like I don't want to do this, even though I paid already, and I'm going to finish it. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to, I guess, not have full expectations at this point. It's so funny you say that because I saw it this morning when I was uh, talking to her. I go, I can see that you're quitting. You're quitting in your mind. I can see it because, again, this is not easy, guys. And uh, she works for a chiropractor. And the reason I keep saying this and I keep saying that she should be my best patient is because she sort of already is indoctrinated with the idea of health first, holistic, right. chiropractic health. She already said she was 80% better from other chiropractor. Yeah. Um, so I would, but she is really hard headed. She doesn't like me to say that. But she, you could see her failing in her mind this morning. She's like, this is not working. I don't think I'm getting better. This is not working. And I think I brought you back after that first adjustment. Yeah. So this morning I adjusted her in the chair because she likes the chair adjustment because I adjusted her lower neck and she seems to say that she had the most vision improvement with that and which is not normal by the way but um, I'm going to adjust her lower neck normally I do a C3, C4 on this one but since she did pretty well with the lower one and she always has trouble down here can we have this? Excellent oh. How is that different than the chair adjustment this morning? Well, I don't know why that felt deeper again. I was stronger in that one. I feel yeah. like it really felt like it went in deep. Yeah, please. That, that felt great. Yeah. Oh, good. And so the, the art of what being a chiropractor is trying to figure out how you adapt and how to change you so that we get the best out of you. Okay. I think you like that C67 adjustment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh. That was pretty deep, huh? Yeah. yeah. Is that it's not a cookbook. It's not really just... A straight... Yeah, it's never everyone, a straight line. Everyone's customized. And that's what I like about it, because if it was easy, it wouldn't be fun. Yeah. 